Let's give multiplying decimals a shot. Let's begin. First example, we've got 0 0.7 times 0 0.5. Now to multiply decimals, we're going to write them above and below again in a vertical manner. But whether or not the decimal points actually align doesn't matter. It's more like from the right side, the first non-zero digits have to align. Okay, but here the decimals do align. It's just kind of lucky. Okay, and what we do is we just ignore the zeros on the far left and the far right, and we just multiply like normal. We worry about the number of decimals later on. So here we go. We just use 5 times 7 is 35. But we need to find the number of decimal points in the answer. So what we do is we count the total from the question. One decimal point. Two decimal points. So two decimal places total. Here we imagine the decimal starts here and we go two decimal places that way. One, two. So our answer is going to be... 0 0.35. 0 0.35 is our answer. Okay, so we count the total number of decimal places in the question, add that together, and that is the total number of decimal places in the final answer. Got it? Let's try another one. 6 times 0 0.085. Let's try that. 6 times 0 0.085. Eh, you can do it like that if you like, but the way I see it, the 6 is a one digit number. And the 0 0.085 is a two-digit number, the 8 and the 5. If I were you, I would swap them around before multiplying. I think you'll find it easier. Okay, so I might do it the other way around. I'm just going to scrap this, and let's do it reverse. 0 0.085 times 6. Ah, so there you go. You don't actually need to align the decimal points here. 6 doesn't even have a decimal point. We just want to align the first non-zero digits from the right hand side on both numbers. Like that, so now it's kind of like just a simple two digit number times a one digit number. Six fives are 30. Write down the zero, carry the three. Six eights are 48, plus three is 51. 510? No, don't forget the decimal point. Make sure it goes in the right place. Ah, that's right. So how many decimal places on the top number? One, two, three. How many decimal places on the bottom number? Uh, zero. So this is going to be three decimal places. The decimal starts here. One, two, three. So the answer is 0 0.51. Not too hard, right? But different from decimal addition and subtraction, obviously. Two more examples, C and D. So here we have 7.56 times 0 0.9. So this is a two decimal number times a one decimal number. But we shouldn't actually think of it like that. It's more like a three digit number times a one digit number. So let's treat it like that. 7.56 times 0 0.9. We just want to align the 6 and the 9, don't forget. 6 nines are 54. 4 goes down. 5 comes up. 5 nines are 45 plus 5 is 50. 0 goes down. Carry the 5. Seven nines at 63 plus 5 is 68. 6,804. No, it's not. We're going to count how many decimal places are going to be in the final answer. Let's count them in the question. One, two, three decimal places total in the question. So in the answer starting here, we need three decimal places. One, two, three. There's our answer. 6.804. As a side thing, uh, you can make a bit of an estimate in the beginning. This is about 7.5 or like 8. Eight's very, and this is like an 8 and this is like a 1, isn't it? So 8 times 1, it's kind of in the vicinity of like 1 to 10, right? So 6.8 sounds about right. 90% of 7.5, 6.8. If it was 68, that would obviously be wrong. If it was 0 0.68, that would obviously be wrong. So it looks like it's pretty good to me. D, 0 0.58, what's that mean again? It's the same as multiplication. It's called a dot product. Some people use it to look smart. All oh, right, that's the same as a multiplication. But here we've got a two digit times a two digit number. Ah, oh, so any order is fine, 0 0.58. The decimal points do not have to align, but here they just do out of coincidence. Three, 
So this time we got a two digit number times a two digit number. First time in this lesson that's happened. Okay, let's do it like normal. Three eighths are 24. Four goes down, carry the two. Three fives are 15, carry the two is 17. And no need to carry the one there, just 17. Zero comes down. Seven eighths are 56. Six goes down, carry the five. Seven fives are 35, plus five is 40. Let's add these. Four plus zero is four. Seven plus six is 13, carry the one. One plus one is two. Four plus nothing is four. There we go. But where does the decimal point go? Let's check it out. One, two, three, four. Four decimal places total. So we've got to put four decimal places down here, starting from here. One, two, three, four. There it is. So our answer is going to be 0 0.4234. Okay, and looking at the question, it's kind of like 0 0.7 times a half, which is 0 0.4. It'll be less than a half, won't it? Looking good. Let's just try two more to take us home. Then you can try example two where it's going to be your turn. E, 9.5. Yeah, what is this again? That too is just multiplication. When there's no pluses or minus outside the brackets, you just multiply the numbers. Oh, right. Uh, so we've got one decimal here and three decimals here, but no, I'm not going to think of it that way. This is more like a three digit number times a two digit number. So, so I'm going to put this higher 0 0.231 times 9.5. Okay, again, the decimals don't need to align. Just the first non-zero digits from the right need to align. The one and the five. Multiply. Five times one is five. Five times three is 15. Carry the one. Five twos are 10 plus one is 11. Zero comes down. Nine ones are nine. Nine threes are 27. Seven goes down. Carry the two. Nine twos are 18. Plus two is 20. And let's add these. 5 plus 0, 5. 5 plus 9, 14, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 7 is 9. 1 plus 0, 1, nothing plus 2 is 2. 21,945. You're forgetting the decimal point again. Oh yeah. So let's count them in the question. We've got 1, 2, 3 decimal places total in the question here, plus another 1 making 4. 1, 2, 3, Four, so we need four down here in the answer. Starting here, one, two, three, four. So our decimal point goes here. So the answer is going to be 2.1945. Which makes sense, right? It's nine times 0 0.2, which is gonna be uh, close to zero. Last one F, this gets a bit interesting. 0 0.87 times and like I said, the first non-zero digits from the right need to align. So I'm going to align the 6 and the 3 here. 6, 3. These need to align like that. And then we can write the 36,000 like this. This is just how I do it anyway. And then I do this just to there. Okay, and this is where it gets a little tricky. Just going to create a little fence there. And what I can do now is, uh, this is going to be a two-digit number times a two-digit number. I need my two rows. Okay, and then my final answer is going to come down here. What I can do is cross off these three zeros and put them straight down here in the answer, like that. Now let's multiply like normal. Six sevens are 42. Two goes down, carry the four. Six eights are 48, plus four is 52. Coming down the second row, we put a zero. Seven threes are 21, carry the two. Three eights are 24, plus two is 26. Let's add these, two plus zero. Two plus one is three. Five plus six is 11. And then one plus two is three. How many decimal points in the final answer? Let's count them. Starting from here. One, two. And in the 36,000, the original decimal point was here, which is zero decimal places. So we just got one, two. Down here, let's do that. Starting here, one, two. Okay, and that's where our decimal point goes. So our final answer, one, two, three, whack a comma there, 31,320. 
Okay, and that is about as tricky as decimal multiplication can be. It's now your turn. Please try example two. Can you multiply these pairs of decimal numbers? Remember, do it on paper now, no calculators. Put your answers up in the comments section. And as always, thanks for watching.